What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Terry. I'm Addie. And of course, you have been waiting for this. The most anticipated ship ever built. The largest of its kind. What's she called? The icon of the sea. And today is the inaugural sailing, and we are about to get on board. It is boarding day, oh so God. we are going to just give you what we see, how we see it. So when you get ready to board, you'll know what to expect, or maybe just create a little bit of FOMO in case you're on the fence about it. So let's go ahead and get this party started right. Bye. All right, so we just made it through security. That took all of five minutes. Five minutes. If that, literally all of five minutes. I can already tell that area right there. That's so cool. Y'all, look how excited Addie is. She never outwalks me. Look how fast she going. Look Come on. How pretty she, look at how big this ship is. We're getting ready to step foot for the very first time on the icon of the seas. And I don't like bridges, so. <laughs> yeah. We're on board! We're on board! Woohoo! We have made it! Hey. <laughs> we made it! Oh my God, look at this! Look at this! Oh my, this is, yo! Yo! We have made it! On board the icon <laughs> of the seas. Woo! Woo yes! And look at this beautiful woman Yay. right here. Yes, the hostess with the mostest. <laughs> the first face you see when you jump on the biggest ship in the world, and it belongs to none other than Miss Introduce Yourself. Thais from Brazil. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. So, we are finally on board. It's been over a year in the making. In the world. And just walking in, you generally feel the size of yeah, this ship. That's what she said. <laughs> this is not like any other entrance to any other royal ship. No. That pearl hits you as soon as you step on board. Oh, let me let me take you. Let's take them to it. Let's take them to the pearl. It's not There's only a, a superstructure. The flowers. It is the very first thing you see from yeah, all no, the little so individual plates that change and this is how you make an entrance on board the ship. So one of the cool things on board the Icon of the Seas is they have these touchless elevators. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in, select your deck, and it's gonna tell you exactly which elevator that you need to go to. For us, that's gonna be G. And of course, when you get in, there's no buttons to push. And I know a couple of people may be a little confused, like, is that? Are we like I'm just gonna be sitting here? Like you know, you just gotta remember where floor you're getting off deck, yeah. <laughs> and, and so, not take the elevator <laughs> for a ride. And so just like that, it takes you to your designated deck, and it also shows you which deck is up next. And of course, if you need to find out where you're going on board, all you have to do is take a look up top. Gives you floor by floor some of the key places. I think it'll be pretty easy to find our way around. What do you think? Yeah, I hope so. Now we just got to find our cabin. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let the adventure begin. So as we are on our way to our cabin for the very first time, guess what? We get to go through Central Park and oh take a look at her God. for the very first time. It is so colorful. One oh of my wow. favorite areas on board just because of this. I mean, look at the look white at orchids. So if you're brand new to the Icon or the Oasis classes of ships, they have Central Park, which is, of course, based off of Central Park in and the NYC. Real plants, y'all. <laughs> and you've got your shops, you've got bars, you've got restaurants out here, and of course, you've got some cabins that will face uh, the inner part of Central Park. So there's that. Yeah, that's a... If you want a balcony, but you don't want to pay the price of an ocean view balcony, you have the option of getting the Central Park balcony or Surfside balconies on Icon. So on, that, on Oasis class ships, they are called the promenade or the, the balcony. I mean, the promenade or the boardwalk. Right. So. I think that's going to be a good hangout right there. The little bubbles. Walk up and grab a bottle of Moed or a glass of Moed. You've got park cafe which Everybody's i think favorites. when we were on the wonder <laughs> we had some really really good sandwiches yes. from the park cafe 
Of course, we got a ship tour coming up a little bit later where we will definitely be going into more detail on what's going on on this ship. But right now, I can say breathtaking. Look at all the beautiful orchids. All the little bits and bobs. I'm really digging the orchids. And just you've got think, blue orchids, you've got white orchids, you've got purple these orchids. These aren't even like fully grown yet because right. they just got on board. So imagine in like a year right when everything's like fully bloomed and of course you've got the little bitty uh things like the divers oh. on the different <laughs> diving boards Those diving into central park which is absolutely amazing oh man this oh. is what i'm talking about welcome to cabin 8198 on the brand spanking new icon of the seas we're going to give you a quick tour of our standard ocean view balcony and when i say that it is absolutely gorgeous and still mind-boggling all at the same time let's take a look when we first come in the door you got your panel here for temperature you got daytime settings evening settings movie settings and sleep settings that is amazing. I love that the door is a, you hear that? All right, let me stop being weird. The bathroom is actually quite spacious, y'all. And the best thing about it, the shower. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but look at the shower door. How cool is that? And the best part, how fancy. <laughs> There's a seat, a bench in the shower. Ladies, we can shave our legs. Guys can have a seat and do whatever guys do when they sit down in the shower. So, <laughs> and there's plenty of space in here. Do you see how much room is in here? There's no bumping, there's no nothing. So much space. Terry's test. Is this approved? Yeah, I think so. They did move some of the storage to over here on the wall. There's more storage over here with a drawer and more storage down here under the sink. But this is bathroom and the rest of the room has so much storage. There's even outlets up here. That's crazy. Great things about all the storage in this cabin is we've got hooks here. Hooks are very rare to have in uh, cruise cabins. So we've got three here and then several on the back of the door. Moving on, storage options in this room. So first you have your closet, hanging stuff, short stuff, bins over there, lots of storage space. But what's going to shock you and what you may not even realize is more space is behind the full length mirror is even more space for doodads and whatnots. And it's got your safe over here. I don't think it's big enough for a computer though. All right, we have a table here that's movable all over the place. We've got a big vanity with even more drawers. Loving all the accent colors that are hidden and shown everywhere, like here on the desk and the vanity, inside the drawers, the chair, it just says, Welcome, it's a bright ray of sunshine. <laughs> you can't help but be happy on this ship. With the soft closed drawers. Teeny tiny fridge. But we'll definitely get the job done. But, all kinds of outlets, you got your power, universal, and I think those are regular USB-A. I have to check with Terry because he knows I always just say the USB thingy. And then, like I said, lots of space here. Oh, here it is, Terry, for you. USB-C ports for your chargers. Those are everywhere on this room. Perfect thing about the sofa size in the cabin is that it is a full sofa size, which makes it perfect for lounging, relaxing, taking a nap, or just surfing on the phone, checking out your Instagram photos. Love that there's storage on both sides of the bed, as well as ports for charging devices on both sides of the bed. Plus, everybody gets their own lamp. Love that. 
Love this hidden storage over here with the pop of color and the lights. There's even chargers down here that are hidden. So just in case you don't have chargers somewhere <laughs> to plug in, you have space over here. And then we have the best thing about a cabin is the balcony. I absolutely love it. Look at this. So much space out here. Each chair comes with its own little footstool. I see our sea day is being spent right here if we're not at the water park. As agents, we know how hard it is to work for other people as clients. So we wanna send a special shout out and a thank you to Vacations by Canadians because they left us great treats in our cabin. We got some vanilla cupcakes. How yummy is that? A fruit and cheese plate. Gonna dig into that in a minute. <laughs> they must know us. <laughs> a bottle of Merlot red wine. So our inaugural gift for being on the inaugural sailing of 2024 are these cool hats that match the colors of the ship. Terry is in love. They even have the ombre effect on the inside. How cool is that? So thank you, Royal. That does not fit. <laughs> what I wanted to show Terry was this book from the entertainment department, which basically is like a playbill of each of the shows that is going on on board. So we have a playbill of the Wizard of Oz showing the cast and the direction team and the producers and managers and stuff. This is so cool. I know our daughter would appreciate something like this. And it's for each of the production shows. So there's the Aqua show. Stardust, so that's the ice show. This is something that you don't normally get to see. They even have the kids shows. Ships Ahoy. And then all the acts that are available on board. That is so cool. Shout out to all the team. Come on to pop it first. Pop it. Pop it. Somebody pop it. Somebody gotta pop it. You need a rose <laughs> We're going to sell away. Oh my god. Oh look at that sunset over there. We're hanging out with our friends. This is what it's all about. Look at that sunset. Oh, that's a good one. So we just finished dinner. And now we are heading into the casino. Hopefully we'll get a chance to come back later on uh, tonight or maybe a few other nights later on this week. And we'll get a chance to uh, try to get our point game up. But are one of the things that we learned room? about the casino is that they have um, they a the smoking and a non-smoking area and that the ventilation system is so good that you don't even have to worry about the smoke bleeding into Oh, there's my game right there. I was going to say, there's oh, the yeah. drums. There's the drums. Um, you don't have to worry about the smoke going over into each section. So that's definitely a plus for those who may not like smoke. Of course, you got your normal table games and you've got all of your uh, slot machines. But you know what? Actually, this casino reminds me of how the casino is set up on the ovation of the seas. Oh, really? It's literally set up pretty similar. Like, it literally looks the exact same. So, uh -huh. if you go back and you check out this video, we'll post it right here. 
and you look at the casino and you compare it to the one on Icon, it is almost identical. And then you run right into, into the music the hall. Music hall. Which is a multi-purpose yeah, venue. Right. Yeah. Sorry about the, the, the screen going everywhere, but this is also the nightclub at night. So we're going to come it's in here. kind of some of everything. A little bit later on. Check this out. You're going to have live music. and This is so cool. It's like a record. That's oh, yeah. so cool. Nice. Sweet home, Alabama. You got a nice little bar. I can see coming in here and listening to some music. I can too. Ooh, it is busy out here near the theater. Oh, this is the theater. Okay, so this is where we got to come back. <laughs> Go where Dinner you can. Dinner was really, really good. I had the steak, the New York strip, and Terry had the chef's suggestion of the fried chicken. Was it good? It's okay. Your hot sauce. It's okay. <laughs> so the thing with getting off the elevators is that they have a lot of nicely appointed uh, spaces. Everywhere is like a, a vibe. So right now we just got to find the steps and then head on downstairs to our cabin. Of course, we've been walking around and our bags have been sitting outside for hours. <laughs> this is bubble wrap. Yeah, they put them inside. No, oh, okay. So our bags are indeed here waiting on us. I like the light in the cabin, like the, the LEDs. It's so beautiful. Really make it bright and and, and the ooh, pops of yellow make might it need so to bright. Change the lighting in the house. <laughs> to LED strip light. Uh. <laughs> so we made it for the very first show of the night. The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Oh, we did not bring our mics. I just realized that. Earl, I can't see down. But we're here tonight to see The Wizard of Oz. Uh, it is a brand new production that's done here on the Icon of the Seas. Uh, so if you're a fan of the, the Wiz, like I am, I'm really interested to see how they're going to pull everything off. You know, but you do know that this show is completely different than The Wiz. <laughs> right. But I am excited to see this show. I'm more excited about the costuming and um, the actual production because if you've ever been to a Royal Caribbean oh, yes, the production, then. they go all out for production. Right. Drums and the one show flight had an actual like airplane and you felt like you were in outer space. So I'm really excited to see them bring the Wizard of Oz into life. Let's start this amazing production. Are you ready? Yeah. Let your heart open. Let your heart open. Hey, it's going to be a whopper. We are currently tracking the weather front as it heads east towards Topeka. Currently, it's a category EF3 storm. So, we the trouble is Rover pulled the plug out. Ah, uh, don't blame the real Because he doesn't like Toto. <laughs> there's, a whole, there's a whole Toto Rover thing going on. <laughs> Is it true we somebody saw a dog running down the, the running track <laughs> away from the theatre about 20 minutes ago? So it's, when you see Rover, give him a hard time. I'm joking, give us two minutes. What are we going to do? We're going to do a special cabaret. Here we go. Thank you, Cass. Well done, well done. Before we do that, we've got to do the royal oath. So everybody, please raise your right hand in the air and repeat after me. I. I state your name. State your name. State your name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. State your name. State your name. <laughs> do promise. Do promise. To have a great crew. To have a great crew. To eat as much as I can. I, to eat. <laughs> I promise. I promise to view this cruise. To view this 
Oscar. With my own two eyes. With my own two I eyes. Through the screen. And not through the screen. screen. On my smartphone. <laughs> my smartphone. All right, listen. This is the first time we've done this kind of balloon drop with this kind of attendance. I want to try something. Let's warm up those chords before we drop this. Hey oh. You guys are ready, let's count it down from 10, everybody, 10! 